my name is Catrice and welcome. Or if you come here and hang out with me often, welcome back. I am so excited to talk to you today because yesterday I got the coolest opportunity to speak at a graduation ceremony. Somebody invited me to speak at a graduation ceremony. Now, little do they know, this is something that has been on my bucket list for a very, very, very long time. You see, I love those who start a journey. There's something so exciting about that moment, but that shouldn't be the end of the story and to see people who are celebrating finishing a journey and getting a chance to speak on their behalf really just got me super in the feels so i am I'm just over the moon excited that I got that opportunity. Um, hopefully it's not the last time that I get to speak at someone's graduation, but I thoroughly enjoyed, I enjoyed the moment. And I, I think the graduates more than me enjoyed the moment and that's how it's supposed to be. It really got me thinking about the beginning of the journey and how much pressure we put on ourselves just to get started. Because the starting part, Whew. there's a lot of fear in <laughs> just getting started. It takes a lot of adrenaline. It takes, I don't know, it may take a huge leap of faith, a huge leap of faith. But sometimes we kind of get stuck in the wavelengths and we forget that we have to keep moving after we've taken that leap of faith. Like once you jump off the cliff, like it's not over, you better figure out how to grow some wings. <laughs> so that you don't crash and tumble and burn and die at the end of this jump. We don't want any of that. We're supposed to be soaring on the wings of eagles. I guess maybe you just jump and land on an eagle. Is that a thing? I don't know. Let's get back on track. I know that people really hype themselves up about the start of something. Like I started it, I said I was gonna do it, but starting a journey, taking the leap of faith, I guess it means everything and nothing all in the same breath. Cause really it's about the work that ensues after you've taken the leap of faith. It's the confidence you have in yourself that you can make it through. I remember when I had signed myself up for the college experience. I was gonna be going to school two hours away from my home. It was moving day, me and my dad packed up the truck and everything that I was gonna take, we drove it on down the highway. We get to school, I'm hyped, super hyped, okay? This is it, I'm about to be by myself, y'all can't tell me nothing ever again. And the end of this journey slowly starts to sink in and we had unpacked all my things and it was about time that my dad needed to hop back in his truck and head back up the road two hours from where I was located. I didn't have no transportation or nothing. They left me stranded there. At least that's what I thought when he left. I was like, Excuse me, sir. How you just gonna leave your child out here in the middle of nowhere? I have nothing here. I know no one here. I felt extremely hopeless. And then I just kind of had to pull myself back up and I was like, I'm good. This is great. This is wonderful. I'm gonna figure it out. But in that moment, I realized that's what I was gonna have to do. I was going to have to figure it out. See, this experience for me was so important 
to the success of my life, then I knew I could not give up on myself. If I gave up on myself right now, then I would forever have that moment of giving up imprinted on my mind and that is what I was going to be conditioned to do and I am no quitter. I will not give up on myself. I can push through these feelings of being scared, mortified, terrified, all the things. I can push through these feelings of overwhelm. In fact, the more I try to coach myself through the situation, talk myself through the situation, the more I told myself that, of course I feel this way. I have literally been removed from an environment that has been the same for me for my whole life. Everything in that moment changed. I was fully expected to be able to take care of myself in all aspects of the game. Of course I felt overwhelmed. Of course I was terrified. Of course I felt fear. Of course I was unsure. I am supposed to be, but then I also looked around at so many people who were doing the exact same thing that I wanted to do and I saw them succeeding. And I thought, if they can do it, <laughs> if they out there doing what I said I wanted to do, well, then there must be a way. And I was willing to find the way. I think there are two types of people. Now, both people eventually make it to the starting line. The first person, person A, if you will, doesn't make it to the finish. Person A has let fear and overwhelm and obstacles get in the way. There is so much fear, so many obstacles, so many things in the way that they can't see the finish line. And it's interesting because person B they have the same journey. They have that fear. They have that sense of overwhelm. They have all of these obstacles, but they have made a decision that their dreams are non-negotiable and that however long it takes them, whoever they need to ask, whatever obstacle they need to jump over, that they're gonna find the finish line. And if you, you are that person taking that leap of faith. I want to just encourage you and thereby encouraging me too, and send out a reminder that that inspiration you had for that dream, the desire you had to put yourself in a better position to be a better version of you, well, that dream is waiting. But it is mandatory that you stay the course. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you hit the bell notification, it'll let you know when I'm here so you and I can hang out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.